Hello everyone. Well, I've retrieved another cardboard box for my garage. Not quite sure what this is. It's another of the vacuums I bought a while ago and just shoved away until I had time to unbox it. I think it's a Hoover Compact. I don't know if I've got one or two to open. Um, I think it is. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll soon find out. We'll all soon find out. Ah, oh, it's not. Well, you knew it wasn't, didn't you? Because I've forgotten about this one. Completely forgotten. It was in the right size box for Hoover Compact. Well, spoiler alert. I'm expecting Hoover Compact. It's not a Hoover Compact. It's a Hoover dual purpose commercial upright cleaner. In bits. Okay. Right, well, we've got some H18 dust bags for Turbo Power 2 and 3. They may fit, but they're not the correct ones. And we have a part here. Part F bracket. See page 7 of manual. I used to have one of these. I've, well, I used to have this particular one. I used to also have it in red with a headlight. Again, they just got sold, but this was on eBay a while ago. So I thought, well, I'll have a go at that. Yes, now this is an American made Hoover cleaner, and it's going to be a bit of a jigsaw puzzle to put together because these were supplied um, to assemble. So this is the back part of the cleaner, maybe the spine you could call it. And obviously this part here is where the bag pushes on. Well, everything is very clean so far. Now this is obviously the tool caddy that fits on the side. Space for the hose and the wand. Not sure if this has got all the tools. I can't remember, it's that long that long since I bought it well clearly this is the handle with a slide on off switch now these worked by actually if you can just have a look here you see that pin that moves down these basically no electrical contacts in this as you see it basically moved a switch on the body of the cleaner to turn it on and off. Well, here we have. Well, it's not quite the correct owner's manual. Manual. I think what uh, you'll know this if you're watching the in the USA, you'll know this is the Hoover Legacy Supreme. So yes, this is the USA, as I said, USA made cleaner. But this was sold in the UK under the commercial brand Hoover Commercial. But yes, it's more or less the same, isn't it, as your legacy. I think what, uh, yes, it's been downloaded from Manuals, Manuals Lib, is it? Manualslib.com. So I might still have, I think I've got the original brochure, uh, instruction book for this, but it will be the same. Um, but it's useful to have, isn't it? The mains lead, I think, is in here. Where's, I haven't got my scissors. I'll try using my box opener to cut through the tape. Oh no, it's not the mains lead, sorry. It is the hose. And clearly, well, quite flexible. This is a better hose than the one. Oh dear, oh dear. Now, I did have a spare hose like this. Whether I've still got it or sold it, doesn't really matter, but it's slightly got hole in it there. This is the cleaner end. But because this only works through the hose when you divert the suction, it won't affect the cleaner's performance when uh, using it as an upright. So that's the first little disappointment. I'll have a look. I might be able to source a new hose if I haven't got one. This must be the wand. Now, I was going to save the bag, but it's uh, it's got holes in it, so 
Can't really use that again. Just cut through. We've got a single plastic wand. Not the correct, obviously. That looks like a Vax crevice nozzle. This is the mains cable. And again, I'm not sure if this is original. It is a nice, it should be, oh, it probably is actually. Now I take that back, it's, it's strange that it's this color. It probably is original because it's actually molded onto this part which, which uh, fits into the cleaner. Um, I would have thought this period it would have had a fitted plug. I don't know, I can't remember, but anyway, it's got a plug on it. Bag door. That's in very nice, very nice condition. Hoover Professional Dual Purpose. Nice bit of detailing there with the Hoover roundel embossed. Just seeing if I can find a date wheel. I can't. Not on that part anyway. Wow, this is in lots of bits. I'll pause the video while assembling. This will be the main bag. Uh, bag compartment again absolutely spotlessly clean look at that it's almost new condition almost but not quite I expect we'll see most of the wear on the cleaner head so that's the uh, oh yeah, no date wheel again some small tools that's the original all-purpose nozzle oh dear it's got a little it's got a tooth missing look in the middle not bothered about that really and yes I seem to remember from the listing you can still buy these in fact I did buy some from America I might have to import some more that's absolutely obviously if any of you remember a man called Arthur Scargill in the 80s he had hair very similar to that <laughs> That looks like it's suffered from some heat damage. So now that's very poor. I seem to remember seeing it was like that in the uh, listing. And finally, last but not least, and hopefully, I've just taken this out of the box that's got a dent in it. So hopefully the cleaner head has survived. The nearest we got to this, um, well, we had we had a few American-made cleaners. It's come out of a cold garage into a warm living room. Oh, this does have the headlight. Ah, perhaps it's the red one I had that didn't have the headlight. Yes, the red version had a blanking piece. And I think they may have done one without the attached tools. So yes, this is showing as I thought most of the wear, some deep gouges. But it's been very well cleaned. Cleaning tool port. I do have a couple of um, genuine agitators for this. No beta bars, it's in quite good condition. Yeah, but definitely made in the USA, as it says. Wheels are quite worn. Yeah, we had the turbo light, which is a very basic version of this, but under the skin, it was very similar. And again, that was made in the USA. Okay, well, I've got all the parts. We can rebuild him. Well, here it is, fully assembled, the Hoover Professional Dual Purpose. It's definitely one I had. I said the red one, it didn't have the headlight, but I think the red version I had had an air freshener at the top with a slide control and it used those little air fresheners, those little round ones that looked like an extra strong mint. It didn't use the standard Hoover air freshener that we had on our turbo power uh, sensortronic cleaners. So I'll have a quick uh, tour of this to show you it. 
Then we'll plug it in and switch it on. Here's the underside of the cleaner again. That base plate is in very good condition. The wheels look more worn than the base plate. I'm wondering if it's had a new base plate. We've got metal guards here. I'm sure the uh, brush oil I've got is a bit stiffer than that, but those, there's still life in those brushes. It might need a new belt. Got to undo a couple of screws, I think. Yeah, two screws to remove the base plate uh, to gain access to the belt. Ah, now is this one that you have to take the hood off? Yeah, I think this could be a funny one. I can't remember. Anyway, we'll have a quick look at the rating plate. Okay, this is Hoover Cleaner model C1417-903, 230 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 630 watts, serial number 11970000-6626. And yes, the Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio, made in the USA. Here's a cleaner head. You can see this model has a headlight. I'm not sure if the bulb is functioning. I can't remember if it mentioned that in the listing. Then we've got a five position height right control. Setting five being the cleaning tool setting. So I'm assuming this is like the Hoover Turbo Power Total Systems where it'll have a diverter to direct the suction through the onboard hose. But it feels very easy to move. So I'm assuming it'll work. And then we've got four other heights from four to one. Four being for your longer pile carpets. And down to one for hard floors. This would have been used, well, it's meant for a commercial environment. So I expect most people used it on the lowest setting for the sort of short pile commercial carpeting. But there you go, that's the height control. At the back of the cleaner, we've got the handle release pedal to lower the handle to the operating position and you can see at the side we've got the onboard hose the extension wand and at the back is where we have the small cleaning tools the all-purpose nozzle the crevice tool as i said that's not the correct crevice tool and the dusting brush we've got cord storage as well we've got a fixed lower hook and a fixed upper hook. To access the dust bag there's an easy open catch so we can remove the bag door completely. I've popped in one of the For Your Home Hoover H18 bags made of this fleece that uh, fit very nicely actually. Obviously it's a little bit large for the compartment but uh, if it's tucked in properly it'll be fine. So that's what I'm going to use. It's got a little bit of dirt in because I've just taken it out of my Hoover Concept 2. So if you're in America, I think this would be taking what they call A-sized bags, I believe. So we can locate the bag door back until it clicks into position. Well, as this cleaner appears to have been refurbished, there's no way it would have been this clean normally, especially if it was used in a commercial environment. I'm going to actually turn it on at the handle instead of being a safe distance. So I trust the seller that it's not going to blow up. Let's make sure it's in the off position first, which is down. And I'll just plug it in. Okay, here goes. Headphone users, lower your volume or remove your headphones. I don't know, I think these are fairly noisy. Right, Let's see how it copes with my plush carpet. Is it going to work? Well, yes, indeed it does work and it works very well. I had it on uh, setting three. It was quite hard to push. It seemed to be quite a lot of suction. Might try it again on just one up on setting four. Also see if the suction does actually 
divert through the hose when it's on setting five. So let's give it another go. It might be a little bit too high now, but we'll try it. Well, that works superbly. Really pleased with that. Very nice grooming action. And it's a cleaner that isn't phased by my plush carpeting. But then it's an American made vacuum cleaner. And in my experience, my American Hoovers tend to coat well with this pile of carpet. And this one is no exception. I need to, obviously, you noticed the bulb doesn't work in the headlights. I need to check the instructions see what sort of bulb it takes. I think it'll be one of those push fit, similar to a Kirby, uh, a later Kirby bulb, one of those little round ones. I think it will be. But yes, all in all, very good. And just uh, check the old suction through the hose. We have some suction, not very much, but obviously there is a few little holes in the bottom of the hose. So obviously that's not gonna help matters. Um, I've got my suction gauge, we'll give it a go. I've just, at the time of making this video, clean iron box before this was a vintage Hoover Dustette. And that was a just under 10 on the gauge. I think that might have more suction than this cleaner. We'll soon find out, let me just, uh, reach over folks and get it here it is <laughs> i haven't got high hopes of you right we'll just see yeah i don't think it's going to go much above 10 but you never know well i stand corrected it seemed to peak at about 24 which is okay for lightweight dusting above floor. I'm not really sure why Hoover decided to put this on, but I suppose Sebo, <laughs> when this was uh, available, Sebo would have had their sort of BF36 uh, type cleaners or equivalent with the built-in hose. They certainly had more suction. So I suppose in a commercial environment, this is mainly used on carpets, but there might be an occasion when you need to just grab the hose and pick up something that's in the corner or maybe doing some seating with it it'll be adequate for that this could be used domestically and of course in America as a legacy cleaner it would have been used in a domestic environment it's not as well built as some of the older Hoover commercial cleaners I've looked at you know they've been a lot better made so this is although it's a Hoover professional not commercial Hoover called it professional it really is more suitable for light commercial environments, nothing too heavy duty. I'm pleased to have one, certainly, and I'm really quite impressed with the uh, grooming action. And I um, expect it will pick up quite well. Well, I'll just finish off. I'll just get some dirt down and we'll give it a demo. And I'll look into uh, replacing the headlight bulb at some point. Well, folks, I thought I'd just uh, pry the hood off to check the bulb situation and uh, as you can see the cupboard is bare so it's strange that it has a lens but there is definitely obviously there is no bulb there's no bulb holder there would have been I don't know if that's the bulb holder part here so yeah it's just I don't know why it didn't have a black blanking piece so perhaps this never had well I'd probably this model never had a headlight um, yeah, but it's just odd, isn't it, that they've uh, left the lens when they could have just put, really, a black piece. Instead of a lens, why not just a black blank piece there? Promising a headlight, but not delivering. That's a shame, isn't it? But it gives us a chance to look. It's all quite sealed up, isn't it? It is uh, very reminiscent of a, a UK turbo power very similar setup to it. You've got the belt this side. 
I think that's a genuine belt as well. Obviously the motor spindle, a little bit rusty, but nothing major. The fan, of course, will be this side. And we can see here where the uh, cleaning tools connect, the hose connects. We've got the suction channel. Didn't take much to get the hood off. Just, um, I don't know if I, I even had to undo the two screws, to be honest. I undid two screws. Um, probably could have popped the hood off without, because it's just fixed into place um, with sort of clips. So I, d I don't think I needed to take the base plate off, but you can see a bit clearer now underneath. Suction channel, and that's the diverter. So that moves along the Hoover one, uh, the Hoover turbo power one, spring loaded. See, this probably should have, should have a spring in it. I think I don't know. Yeah, there we go. It's sort of working. It's a little bit. Uh, probably works better with the the base plate on actually. So I'm going to pop the uh, base plate back again. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could have just popped the hood off without the need of tools. Anyway, I'll reassemble this. I'll put a little bit of dirt down. We'll give it a quick demo. And that will be the end of today's video. Well, there you go. That's the end of today's video on this Hoover professional dual purpose upright vacuum. As you saw from my brief demo, it does a very good job of cleaning, especially on this uh, plush carpet. Very impressed with this and uh, very impressed with the way it's been refurbished. This has obviously been stripped right down to the bare bones and cleaned and um, yeah, really happy with it. I mean, yeah, being very picky, I would like a new hood if possible, but I'm not too bothered. It still looks very good. It performs very good. Could do with a new hose, I suppose, because of the couple of holes in the existing one. But yeah, I'm pleased to have it. It works better than I remembered, to be honest. It's a good sturdy cleaner, obviously. If you're watching this from the USA or Canada, you'll be much more familiar with this type of cleaner. Uh, it was probably called, well, the instructions were for the Legacy Supreme, but I expect this had many different names in its run. So if you've got one of these, please comment below. And if you know how many different names Hoover called this particular style of cleaner in the USA, please comment below as well. It'd be quite interesting to see. Thanks for watching. Please thumb up this video if you liked it. Please thumb it down if you hated it. And if you liked it and you don't subscribe, please click the subscribe button and of course the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until the next time for me and the Hoover Professional Dual Purpose, it's goodbye and I'll see you soon.